Question number two. Uh, oh. Point of order, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Sir, in my adjournment, I forgot to seek leave to table a document, which is the um, Official Information Act uh, answer from MB, dated 4 October 2016. Leave is sought to table that official information uh, response. Is there any objection to it being tabled? There is none. It can be tabled. Question number two. Chris Bishop. Oh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Question to the Minister of Finance. What reports has he received on weekly earnings? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, uh, Statistics New Zealand reports that in the year to June, median weekly earnings, as defined at the broadest definition of it, increased, increased by $44 to $924 per week. That's an increase of 5% in median weekly earnings, the biggest annual increase since 2007. Uh, first, people are working more hours each week. Average hours work increased. Average hours of all part-time and full-time workers increased by one hour to 37 hours a week, and workers are being paid more for each hour they work. Median hourly earnings for wage and salary earners increased by 3% in the year to June to $23.49. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Chris Bishop. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What do the labour market statistics say about wage and salary movements during the year? Oh, like the the Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, to track changes in the weekly median earnings, Statistics New Zealand monitors the incomes of wage and salary earners and the self-employed. In the year to June, median weekly earnings from wages and salaries increased by $55, or 6.2 per cent a week, to $937. This is the biggest annual increase since the series began in 1998, and shows that workers are getting ahead. Order. Supplementary question. Chris Bishop. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, to the Minister, how does the growth in median weekly incomes in New Zealand compare with trends elsewhere? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, uh, comparisons are difficult because of the different ways that countries collect statistics, but it is possible to compare trends in New Zealand with trends in the US. In the United States, the real value of household incomes has not risen since 1998. Over the same period in New Zealand, household incomes have improved by 43%, as opposed to zero in the United States. Incomes in New Zealand are still considerably lower than in the US, uh, but we're making progress in closing the gap. Order. The member can have a supplementary question if he wants one later. Supplementary question, Chris Bishop. Oh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, to the Minister, what other reports has he received on wage growth? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, OECD reports show that New Zealand has, uh, since 2008, had the fourth highest level of real wage growth in the developed world. Uh, our average annual rate of real wage increase has been 1.4% which is almost twice that of Australia and the US, and considerably better than the United Kingdom, which has seen real wages fall by 5%. Question number three. 